Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love surfacing intelligence from this community. It's not just me uh, who uh, produces content for Locker Gnome. Yes, I do the videos primarily in our YouTube channel, but we have an array of amazing contributing writers on LockerGnome.com. Hopefully you are subscribed and hopefully you share the articles that are being written, including the one that I'm going to talk about uh, right now, written by someone who is labeled a guest blogger right now, but I think he's uh, going to be someone I would like to see more content from on a regular basis on LockerGnome.com. Joseph DeFazio has been a member of our community for quite some time, uh, enough for me to recognize his avatar, uh, his name, uh, and that the fact that he's, he's been a really, I think, a good addition to our community. And I, I love surfacing uh, you know, that type of talent. And so he asked if he could blog on Locker Gnome uh, or possibly post something. And if you know, we'd help get the word out about it. And I said, well, let me see what you got. Because this is usually what I'll ask if someone you know, wants to do a, a guest a submission. Uh, and he, he sent me uh, 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 the beginnings of an article. Uh, that I'm going to talk about primarily, uh, but I wanted to set the stage because I think you'll be hearing more from this guy in the future. Uh, th this article in particular is, should you install a custom ROM on your Android device? So if you are sitting there going back and forth, what are the pros and cons of doing this? Joseph has laid it out for you. And we've talked about this in the past, but just to give you a high level overview and you are more than welcome to check out the link that we have in the description if you aren't reading it already. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I, I think Android has a, a tremendous amount of potential in this world, I mean, beyond what it's doing today, uh, is that you can buy a piece of hardware, and uh, if you don't like the software that it runs, you can install different software on it. And this software that, uh, you know, has been built around that device with that device's hardware in mind can be continuously optimized. You can have that piece of hardware become a completely different piece of hardware with a completely different piece of software. The ROM is all you need and some of the more popular Android devices uh, might have a ROM available uh, for them. Uh, the Kindle Fire, uh, there, I think just yesterday I read from Lillip Lilliputing, uh, or I think he did a video showing an early build uh, of a custom ROM for uh, the Kindle Fire running Ice Cream Sandwich. With any luck, Amazon will be adopting Ice Cream Sandwich as its foundation uh, for the Kindle Fire operating system. I don't know how soon that's going to happen. Uh, gingerbread is definitely long in the tooth. So the question is, you get this device, should you put a ROM on it? In many cases, uh, you can put the ROM on it and go back to what you had before you did the custom install. Uh, jailbreaking. This is, you know... Mm, not exactly in the same arena as uh, putting a custom ROM on an Android device. I mean, because the Android ecosystem is open and Apple on, on their side of things, everything's closed. It's just you know, kind of the opposite. And it's not just for Android, of course, replacing a device's ROM with uh, something else. Uh, but this could give you a completely different experience with that hardware. Uh, so if you're frustrated with the software experience, the operating system on your Android device, you might consider replacing the ROM and you would be able to find which ROM, if there are a, a variety available specifically with that device in mind, would be better than the one that you have now. Uh, there's always a possibility. CM7 is one of the best. Uh, Cyogen Mod, uh, or Cyanogen Mod, sorry. Ow. Kind of got a headache going on there. I don't know if I'm having a small seizure there or, or what. Uh, but there are a lot of modifications uh, that are out uh there, floating in the universe and constantly being uh, developed. Uh, cyanogen, thank you. I, I, I see the words, you right? You know, and I never know how to say them until I actually pronounce them for the first time. I think it's the first time I've ever said that out loud. I've only written about it. Wow. Joseph DeFazio has... Beep, beep, beep. Joseph DeFazio certainly knows what he's doing. He's outlined reasons why you might want to do it and things to watch out for, tips and tricks. Uh, and really, I, I think if, if you haven't looked at the article and you'd like to see more from Joseph, uh, please encourage him uh, to contribute more. I think he's got a strong possibility uh, in being a, a regular contributor uh, to the Locker Gnome channel. So 
There's the question, should you install a custom ROM on your Android device? And I'll ask this in general, if you haven't already responded to this uh, in a comment. Uh, do you, if you uh, use an Android device, do you have a custom ROM on your Android? If so, why? And if not, why not? Just curiosity. Uh, MIUI looks a lot like ISO. And I, UI inspired by iOS, really good too. These are comments coming in from the YouTube Live uh, video feed. It's kind of nice. Uh, just love the fact that uh, I can interact with you guys live and, and talk about these things because I think they're worth talking about. 